Hey everybody, Dr. Sean. This time I'm going to do a video about peeing, urination, and in particular prostatic health. So this will mostly be for males, but if you're female and you know a male, you should watch this. And if you're female, you'll still benefit because the interventions that work to help males pee will also help you with urination. So a big problem in America nobody likes to talk about is an enlarged prostate. And so we got <clears throat> countless numbers uh, millions of guys on uh, Flomax and other medications to help them urinate. So I have some experience with this because by the time I was in my mid 40s, I was already having a problem with my urination. And so um, I remember uh, when I was about uh, uh, 16, 17 uh, years old, hearing my father pee. And what did it sound like? It sounded like he was dribbling in there, like he had a little cup of water and he was pouring it into the toilet. And uh, um, my experience of peeing was I would blast in the toilet as a as a 16 17 year old but not my dad I could hear it. I used to think what is he doing in there so gradually I've learned throughout the uh, my adulthood you know from being around other guys in in bathrooms hearing it in urinals hearing it in toilets and being a physician that unfortunately that is an incredibly common state I would have to say it is quote the norm what people just end up going to but it's not normal it is for one thing chronic disease and belying that problem in every case i've seen evaluating patients with enlarged prostate was visceral fat so you don't need to be on flomax you need to get rid of your visceral fat and the chronic disease that's destroying all of your bodily functions so what happens is you start getting a weak urine stream, but you don't notice that because you're in your 20s eating all your processed foods and gradually over a period of time, you end up to a state where it's just falling out of you. It dribbles out of you and it's so slow you kind of put up with it. But what starts to really tick you off is that you got to get up and you got to go f more frequently to the bathroom, including at nighttime. So by the time I was 48, four times a night, I was waking up sometimes five times a night to go pee. You think that's fun? If you're 20 right now, that's gonna happen to you if you're eating processed foods and you're ignoring your visceral fat. Your body's just gonna decline and with it, all of the critical vital bodily functions that go along with it, defecation, urination, sexual relations, just walking and existing, are all gonna be diminished by visceral fat and the, the onset of chronic disease. So what do you gotta do about this? You got a large prostate from the influence of all this inflammatory substance to get released in this visceral fat that again, nobody's talking about. Nobody, not your doctor. Go in and have a conversation, doctor. Doctor, tell me about visceral fat. Enjoy that moment, watch him go like this. He won't know what to say because he's never been trained on it. He doesn't read on it. And chances are you probably aren't doing it either, but you may be doing it more if you're following me, understanding visceral fat. So. I don't recommend going on a medication. I'm recommending the root problem. The problem that caused that is visceral fat. And Flomax is not going to do anything for the visceral fat. It will help a little bit with your symptoms, but with a lot of side effects. Getting rid of that visceral fat is what's going to get, help you get the most relief. So the first thing I did was I cut out carbohydrates, particularly processed foods. And I noticed within one year of cutting out that processed foods, I'm in my bathroom. And I am now peeing Niagara Falls, coming out of myself just like I used to when I was 17, 18 years old. And I was so freaking mad because I realized this diet going off of these processed foods and just cutting out carbohydrates, particularly processed carbs, allowed me to acquire this immense capability where I was no longer waking up at night. And I was just furious. And I'm still furious. And it's been 11 years. We've got to do something about this. You need to have some awareness. We've got to start challenging physicians. We've got to start challenging medical schools and nursing schools and PA schools and, and mid-level schools, nurse practitioners, health coaches, personal trainers. You guys and gals jump in there if the freaking doctors aren't going to do this and start warning your people about visceral fat. Get rid of that visceral fat. Your prostate will, will shrink down into a normal state. You'll start peeing with a nice for, forceful stream stream if you go out in the camp camping outdoors yeah you'll get that stream back that you formerly would just fall out of you now i can 
pee like I was a little kid again. So it's an awesome capability. I'm no longer waking up at night. And many, many other things are gonna work associated with the prostate as part of the reproductive system. So erectile dysfunction returns in a really significant way. And I'll do another video on that, but just set this up. Get rid of processed foods is, is the first step. Track your visceral fat, scan it. MRI is the best way to visualize it. A DEXA scan just puts a number on it. You need to see it because guess why? If you don't see the enemy within you, you don't believe he's really in there. And if you just get a number about the enemy, you're not gonna change your life and do the kind of things that you need to that are required to get rid of processed foods. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video on prostate health and the importance of cutting out processed foods and tracking your visceral fat. I'm gonna do a lot more other videos on these important areas of physiology. Until then, this is Dr. Sean Alp, for your health, not my profit. See you next time.